Hi, I want to welcome you back. Today is lesson number nine. Um, you are actually halfway through your lessons for this book. So congratulations, you're doing great. Um, we have a good lesson today. We're going to learn a few notes um, and a few teacher duets. So let's get started. Today we're beginning on page 40. And if you look up at the top, we are going to learn a couple new notes. But before we do that, we are going to look at what we learned last week. And I am really hoping after playing those songs with just C and G that you totally have them, that you know where they are and everything. But we're gonna do a few little flashcards here. So this is middle C, it can be shown either way, right? So we played it with our right hand as the stem was going up and we played it with our left hand here in the bass clef with the stem going down. So um, middle C and here's G. Now just a little reminder, the treble clef is called the G clef because the swirly part swirls right around the G line. So if you ever have a hard time remembering where G is, it's right here in this on this swirled around line. <laughs> okay, second line up. So um, I'm just gonna mix these up and I'm gonna show you one and just say it, okay? C. G, right? <laughs> okay, now you may think that's ridiculous because there's just two, but today we're going to add in four more. So um, at the end of the lesson, we're going to do this again, and we're going to add in these other notes and just make sure that we know them really, really well. So coming up here to our page again, the first note that we're going to learn is the bass clef F. Now, um, if you remember, the bass clef is also sometimes called the F clef because this curly has the dot that lands right on the F line. Okay, this is the F line. So if you ever have a note anywhere on this line, it is F, okay? So that's kind of easy to remember. So if I go down here to my song, I've got some middle C's again. This is all with my left hand called Gorilla in a Tree. So I have C, C, F, F, C, C, F, F, C, F, C, F, F, F. Now, I'm gonna have you go ahead and let's do it one more time and you say it with me. This is just gonna get you really used to these two notes, just like we did with the other two notes and then we'll build from there. So let's say these together and we'll kind of just say them on the beat. So one, two, ready, go. C, C, F, F, C, C, F, F, C, F, C, F, 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 okay? All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and give you an example of this one. Um, actually, I'm gonna do this next song first before I clip in because here we have just um, another little explanation. Okay, this is also says the F clef. Okay, and oh yeah, it also tells you that these two dots go, the F clef run, or the F line run, runs right in between the two dots. Okay, so um, down here we have the notes that we learned last time, C and G with our right hand. Okay, C, G, C, and here's our bass F. So let's go ahead and say these together. Just... Um, kind of on the beat again. One, two, ready, go. F, C, G, C, F, C, G, C, F, F, C, G, C, G, F, F, C, G, F, C, G, C, F, C, G, C, F, F, C, G, C, G, F, F. F. Now, if that was difficult, go ahead and uh, just rewind and do it one more time with me and see if you can get it, okay? Um, we're going to go ahead now and I'm going to show you these songs and um, where these notes land on the piano. So, starting with page 40, Gorilla in a Tree. This is only my left hand. So, my left hand thumb, my, I have to turn my piano on. I'll talk while, I, while it's turning on. Um, my left hand thumb goes on middle C. There it comes. And my left hand pinky is on the F. 
So if I remember my people house, here's my front door. Okay, here's my dog house with my cat. So there's my C. So F and C. And this is middle C right in the middle of the piano. So um, I'll count us off four and I'm going to say the notes again and you can say them again with me and that kind of helps you be able to recognize them um, faster. So one, two, ready, go. C, C, So once again, um, if you need to rewind that back, you can. And um, we're going to go ahead and do the same song with the teacher duet from the website. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. C, C, G, F, C, C. And I have to apologize. My computer is a little quiet. Um, I'm using a different computer tonight. Um, so it's not very loud, but hopefully you can get on there and um, figure that song out uh, with the duet. So we're going to do the next song on page 41. So this time it says that my three finger on my left hand is going to start on F and my one finger will start on C. And that means my five finger, my pinky, is going to be playing this G. Okay, so we'll count us off and then I'm going to say the notes again. When we do the togethers, I'm just going to say together, together, okay? <laughs> so, all right. One, two, ready, go. F, C, G, C. give that a try. Um, I'm going to try doing the the little duet again. Hopefully you can hear it a little bit better. Um, but four beats and then we begin. One, two, ready, go. you heard that. All right, so we are now, we've got these three notes down, right? You've got them down already? I hope so. <laughs> because, um, and if you don't, that's okay, because you have time to work on them. But we're going to go ahead and learn three new notes, and this will give us our C pentascale on the top. We'll know all five of these notes in our C pentascale. So we are learning D, E, and F. Now, here is middle C. And it's just the alphabet, so it's just walking right up. If you had A, B, C, what comes next? D, E, F, G, right? So looking at this, it walks up line note, space note, line note, space note, line note, okay? So I know G is my second line, okay? I know C is underneath. Okay, so if I look at my first line, it is E. So kind of try to remember that that first line is E. And D 
he hangs out down below these lines, okay? So down below, remember D. And then here's my F, okay? So, and it's in between E and G, so just remember F is right there. So to help us with this, um, it's gonna go ahead and ask us to write in which notes these are. So I can use this top part as a map if I need it, and hopefully we can kind of just start remembering. So this is D. So we have three Ds, D, D, D. Okay, and then you can go ahead and write in, what's this? It's the first line, if I look up on my map, there's my first line. So I'm on E, 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 okay. Now right above E, the first space is F, F, F. Now I'm back to the first line, which was E, E. And here's where I started, down below, da, da, down is D. Here's middle C, who I know really well. And then here's D again. Okay, so coming back down here, um, you're gonna do the same thing. So why don't you take a second, pause this video, take a second, write those in, and then turn me on again, and then I'll tell you what these notes are, okay? So, pause. All right, now come back. Okay, so um, we've got D's, E's, F, E, D, C, D. Okay, I hope that was um, easy for you to write those in. Um, if you needed, you could have used the top. Okay, so we've got that song. Um, just looking at it, we have a forte here and we have a piano here. I'm gonna go ahead and clip in and give you this example before we do our last song, just so we can kind of space them out a little bit. So it says that Oh, and I should show you this, just so you know, just so we're totally clear. <laughs> right above here is a two. That means my two finger starts on D, okay? So that's how I know where my fingering is going. And this is all in the, the treble clef, so it's all the right hand. So now we can, now we can go for it. Okay, so my two finger on my right hand will start on D. And we'll go from there. I'm going to count us off and I'm going to say the notes as we go. One, two, ready, go. D, D, hold two. E, E, hold two. F, F, E, E, D, C, D. Now quiet. D, D, hold two. E, This is the last one with the t-shirt wet, so again, sorry it's not very loud. Hopefully it is on your end. One, two, ready, go. And then our final song is going to use these same notes that we just learned. So we have all five of our notes in our pentascale here. Our five finger is going to start on G. And what it says up here, we when you step from a, or when you go from a line note to the next space note up, from line to space or space to line, this is called a step. So here I'm stepping up. Here I'm stepping down. So it's just like if you were going up some stairs, right? Um, but you can step in the middle of the stair, I guess. So here's the middle of the stair and then you step up on top of it, and then the middle and on top, okay? Um, but they are called steps. So looking here in this song, I have a bunch of steps. I start on G, step down to F, step down to E, D, C, D, 
E F G F E D E. Okay. And then I'm doing kind of the same thing. G down a step to F E D C. Now I'm going back up. D E F G G G G C. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna give you an example of this song. It doesn't have a teacher duet, so um, this is it. And this is the end of the lesson. So let me give you that example, and then, and then we're good. So my five finger is starting here on the G, and here's my middle C. Okay, so here I am on the G, and we're just gonna step down these notes. One, two, ready, go. G, F, E, D, C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, E, two, three, four. G, F, E, D, C, D, E, F, G, 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 C. Okay, so you have these four um, songs to work on, and I know I said that we would be done after I did that, but I'm tricking you because I actually <laughs> wanted to do um, just a couple flashcards, okay? So I'm going to put them up on the piano keys, and you just tell me what they are. So you have like three seconds, and then I'll tell you, okay? Is E F G C <gasps> This is a horrible horrible way to do this. <laughs> okay. F D. Okay, mixing them up. I'm gonna do it to you again. Here we go. Nope, that was the first one last time. My cards keep sticking to each other. C G F D F E. Now, if that was hard, um, I'm going to do it one more time, but if it was difficult, look up at what we just learned this lesson and then come back in just a second. So pause your video. I'm gonna keep going, here we go. E. F, remember it's right on this dot. That's F, F clef. Down below D. F This is the G clef G and then we have middle C. Okay, now that's really the end of the lesson. Sorry those flashcards, that wasn't the best way to do it. I'll figure out a better way to manage that so it's a little smoother, but um I hope you do well this lesson. Practice hard. Make sure you're practicing every day if you can, at least five days a week, and practice these songs. If you're practicing daily, practice them three times each every day, and you'll, you'll be able to get them in no time. Okay, see you next time.